Hi everybody. Let's see what we're going to do today. Oh, we're on a beautiful island. And what do we have? Oh, it looks like a little sheep. Hello, little sheep. Let's see what we can find here. Hmm. Oh, let's follow this path. Oh, I go fast. Up the ladders. Follow the red carpet. Hey, look, that looks like our classroom. Let's go see what we can find in there. Yeah, right charter room 24, Mr. Singer. This is the right place. Hi, everybody. Welcome to math. Oh, look, we have rabbits in our classroom. Nice to see you, bunnies. Let's look at the lesson for today. Oh, look, there's some signs. Let's see what it says. Turn four fifths into a decimal. Oh, we know how to do that. Let's do that. Okay, so you guys know that to convert four fifths into a decimal, really all we have to do is divide, right? So four over five means four divided by five. And so uh, well, I'm gonna, because four is smaller than five, I'm gonna call, call it 4.0. So five goes into four zero times, and you, you remember we bring the decimal straight up. So now how many times does five go into 40? Well, five goes into 40 eight times. Eight times five is 40 with zero left over. And so that's it. So four fifths is the same as 0 0.8. Okay, so now let's look at this sign. This says to turn two ninths into a decimal. Well, it should be the same thing, just divide two by nine. Let's try and see what happens. Okay, so here we have the fraction two over nine, two ninths, which you know is the same as two divided by nine. And so let's call this 2.0. And how many times does nine, well first nine goes into two zero times and the decimal comes up. So how many times does nine go into 20? Nine goes into 20, well nine times two is 18, so I'll put a two here. Two times nine is 18, subtract, and we have two left over. And remember, because it's a decimal, you can just keep adding zeros as much as you need to. So we bring that zero down, and now we have nine into 20. Nine goes into 20 again, two times. Two times nine is 18, and Oh, it's another two, and so we can bring down another zero. And can you see how this is gonna go on forever? Nine goes into 22 times, two times nine is gonna be 18. So this 0 0.22222, it will go on forever. So the way we write that is, the answer is 0 0.2, and we put a bar on top of the two, and that means that that bar, that two, repeats forever. So if you were to do this on a calculator, you would see that the two repeats forever. You can see if we try it on a calculator, if we do 2 ninths, which we know is 2, divided by 9, let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, look at all those 2, 0 0.22222. So that's why instead of making you write it all out, once you get like uh, 2 or 3 of the numbers repeating, just put a bar over it. Hmm, okay, let's try this one. Turn 1 third into a decimal. Let's try that one. And Right, one third, and again, we know how to do this. One third really just means uh, 1.0 divided by three, one divided by three. So th we put a zero here, because three doesn't go into one. The decimal goes up there. How many times does three go into 10? Well, it goes three times. Three times three is nine, subtract, and we have one. And remember, you can always add another zero, so let's bring that zero down, and look, we get 10. Three goes into 10, how many times? Three, so three times three is nine, subtract, get one, and look, it's gonna just keep going on forever. Bring down the zero, three goes into 10, three times, so this is gonna be three, 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 three forever, and that's why we would just call this 0 0.3 with a bar on it, because the number three repeats. Now let's try one third on the calculator and see what we get. So one third is one, divided by three, and we get, look at all those repeating threes. So you can see why one third would be 0 0.3 with a bar over it. Oh, so what we're learning about is repeating decimals. Repeating decimals. Some decimals terminate, like this one, four fifths is just 0 0.8, that terminates. But these two, two ninths and one third, they are repeating decimals, so we put a bar over them. All right, let's see what else we can learn about in this lesson. 
All right, so let's try a few of these problems to see if you can do them.